<clears throat> well, good morning. It's um, Tuesday, June 13th, 2023. I am at uh, Wood Lake um, in the Front Range above Augusta, Montana. I think uh, I fished it two years ago. I called it um, Big Timber Lake. Um, it's right on the uh, the benchmark road. It's about 20 acres. Um, it uh, it's a fairly shallow lake. I think it's only maybe 10, 12 feet deep, but at the most, a lot of feed. It can grow nice fish. Um, they stock it with West Slope cutthroats every year. Um, the good news is it can grow some nice fish and it's easy access and it provides good fishing. The bad news is, is that the lake can occasionally winter kill and it winter killed in 2018. Um, if you look close, let's see if I can zoom in there. That's the dam down there and you'll see, you'll see two little metal objects. Those, those are, those are windmills and their, their function is to use the wind to power there's an aerator in the lake to keep the dissolved oxygen levels up um, in the uh, early spring when there's still ice on the lake to preserve the fishery. <clears throat> um, the last time I was here I saw a lot of fish in the shallows. Caught a lot of fish, just waded out, caught a lot of fish. and uh, But I'm not seeing that this morning and I'm not seeing very many rises so I'm slightly concerned. Beautiful day up here. The game's afoot. I was the only one here, and then here in the last oh, 15 minutes, three other vehicles have rolled in, so I'm not going to be alone. Um, I've got the tube. I got my uh, Creek Company ODC 420 Ultralight, which is actually kind of my favorite tube. Um, I've got my uh, two Echo, two of my three Echo rods. The blue one, which is the Lago, it's rigged up with an intermediate line. Um, I've got a Denny's uh, Olive Peacock Calabatus Nymph on the point because um, the lake is full of scuds and so um, and they're kind of an olish, olive in color. I can see them right here in the shallows so that's a good imitation. And then the uh, dropper is a uh, Denny's Olive AP Emerger just in case there's any bugs that come off today. <clears throat> the um, the dark gray or the charcoal rod, which is my Echo Stillwater, I've got it rigged up with a floating line, an indicator leader, a strike indicator, and then my uh, um, trademark two coronamids. So uh, I'm going to get in the water and see how it goes. I do see maybe a couple of rises beginning out here, so that bodes well. We'll see how she fishes. Well, he's a nice west slope. Oh, come on. Go, bud. Mm. 
Ah, well, so um, I uh, ended up leaving Wood Lake and I thought I would stop at Tunnel. I've never been here before. I just got into the water maybe 30 minutes ago and I've got a fish. I've just been drifting and I don't know what it is. This lake has cuts and it's got grayling in it. Um, I don't know what this fish is. Um, it's not very big, it's a little guy. So we'll see. Looks like it's a little cut. Yep. Just a little guy. Slow, little west slope. <laughs> I don't know, about nine, ten inches. There you go, bud. Well, I'm calling it a day. It's a little bit before four. Um, I left uh, Wood Lake oh, about noon. Nobody was having much luck up there. Um, saw a few fish, caught one, um, lost another. Um, a couple other people caught fish, but it was very, very slow up there. So not like it was two years ago. Um, talked to some people uh, that had also fished it. They were here actually at Tunnel, but they had fished it uh, earlier this morning. When I was up there, very, very disappointed. So I don't know if the uh, if the lake has suffered a partial winter kill, or if we just hit it on a bad day. I don't know. So I I tried this one. This is Tunnel, and I'm near the mouth of the uh, Sun Canyon, the Sun River Canyon, up by Gibson. And um, so this lake, uh, I don't know. It's about 15 acres. They stock it with uh, West Slope cutthroats and um, grayling. And there's supposedly some nice grayling in here, about 15, 16 inches. Um, all I caught was uh, one small west slope that was about nine, nine inches. So that was about it. I only fished it for about an hour. Um, well, the good news is I've got to go fishing since I've been home. The bad news is, and what's it been? Three trips. It's been really slow. Um, Nylon, you know, a week and a half ago I caught some nice fish, um, but it was very slow, only a couple. I uh, went up to Clearwater Lake and um, struggled to catch one fish, and that's usually a good lake for me. And then uh, Wood Lake, uh, again, it was dynamite two years ago, very slow this morning. And then here, just the one little fish. So, um, it's supposed to rain, we've got a storm coming in. Looks like later in the week, probably, I'm thinking Friday. Um, and it could be that with the slow fishing, we haven't had stable weather up here. We've just storm after storm after storm. And sometimes in these lakes, these fish, um, uh, they need stable weather for a couple of days to go back on the feed. So uh, anyway, got to go out and get some sun and all that good stuff. So until next time.